the Sherlock Holmes book or one of my own writings. Um, but today is going to be a little bit different. Um, I just received in the mail today uh, an order that I had placed with Goody Cube, which is a RPG world developer. And so I'm going to be unboxing the products that came in the mail today. Uh, but first, I have a couple of things here. Today's episode is sponsored by Georgia Renaissance Festival and Guinness. Now, neither of those are actually my sponsors, but if any person from Guinness or Georgia Renaissance Festival is watching this, you can always uh, sponsor me if you choose so, and I would thoroughly enjoy it because Guinness is the only beer that I drink, and George Renaissance Festival is like freaking awesome. I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, jester's hat for today's episode because um, my hair's grown up quite a bit, and uh, it ain't fitting no more. So, um, without further ado, let's move on over to the table where I usually play all my D&D games at, and we're going to be doing some unboxing. Right this way. All right. So here is what came in the mail today. Um, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly happy. Uh, you can't imagine how excited I was. Um, first, we have the Weirded World Cyclopedia Volume 1. Okay, so this tells you all about the game world that you're going to be playing in. Gooey Cube is just awesome in all of their products. They have all sorts of, let me turn this around where everybody can see it actually, all sorts of great uh, artistry, pictures, pictures are just phenomenal. They have, it's all throughout the whole book here. This tells you basically anything and everything you want to know about the world of Zyath. Just wonderful, wonderful artwork. And the book is just stocked full of information that you would ever want to know. Quite thick, quite thick, beautifully made. In the back side of this, you also get this gorgeous map of the world of Zayath. You can see how large this is just uh, by me barely being fitting around it. But that's just the appetizers. Now, what I have here is Adventure 1 and Adventure 3. Uh, I'd already received Adventure 2 in the Kickstarter that they did, but um, today this is what came in the mail. So this is what I'm going to be unboxing for you guys. All right, so here we go. Now, if anybody's ever played Dungeons and Dragons before, you know, you, most of the adventures are about like this big, uh, 32 pages or so. Um, a lot of information in it and everything, but nothing compares to what these guys do. Gives you a little intro to everything. Gives you the GUI philosophy, which is a few pages of, of stuff on how they like to run their games. The suggestions on running this. Then you get all of this stuff. That's everything in that box. This is one adventure, okay? So, first off we have here is the adventure handouts. These are all artwork pieces. So let me go ahead and open up this thing here real quick. It all comes 
shrink wrapped. Even the even the box comes shrink wrapped, but I'd already removed that uh, before I started the video just to save a little time because shrink wrap is a pain in the butt to get off. Protects things really well, but I just toss that on the floor for right now. So you've got all of this artwork to give visual aids to your players just piece after piece. It's just incredible the amount of work put in to one of these adventures. And this the uh, this stuff here is is from the um, Rising Sun campaign, the Red Red Star Rising campaign. My bad, Red Star Rising campaign. Um, there's so far there's these three these two plus the the other one uh, that's already been printed. They've got uh, um, vol volumes four, five, and six um, in production. Um, don't know if there's going to be any more, but in, in this one adventure, um, they have yet to say or not. But you can just see all of the crazy, crazy artwork that is involved. And these are all handouts for your players to see throughout the adventure. Helps the DM uh, in when they have to visualize when the players have to visualize something. Helps the DM when they are trying to describe something what, what the players are actually seeing. It just goes on and on and on. I mean, it's just the artwork is just nuts. That's just the handouts for the things that the players will encounter. Um, Then you've got the pre-generated characters. Now, of course, you can use your own, but um, I personally would suggest using the characters in this, in, in, in what they produce here because they've put a lot of work and thought into this whole thing uh, to make it as, as immersive as possible. And the characters that they have pre-generated uh, fit very well within this world and for somebody who's never played this world before to just go ahead and um, try to do their own character and bring it into the world it just wouldn't fit I don't think but that, that's just my opinion but anyway um, you have just what the player characters are but then it gives you Photos and write-ups of all of the player characters. It gives them the background of them and also gives their stat sheet on the back. And so you have all of these wonderful, let's see, all of these wonderful characters. As you can tell right off, right off the get-go, there's an assortment of races in this world. Um, it goes above and beyond your standard D&D races or even the ones that are uh, produced by Wizards of the Coast these days. And it just keeps going on and on. You get the idea. And then for the Dungeon Master, you get uh, cheat sheets on the NPCs. Uh, this gives uh, just a general rundown of who everybody is, what their relationships with everybody is, and so forth and so on. Then you've got in a, a binder here, which is wonderful because you can lay it out flat and, it'll, and, and it doesn't bulk up. Do weird things so you can roll on it and everything. Um, but this is the dun basically the dungeon master's guide for the adventure. Uh, they call it the GM reference book. But this gives you things as far as all the encounters that's going to happen. It gives you uh, battle stats. Um, here's, here's some battle stats of the monsters and, and everything that goes along with them. Um, gives you a section for uh, what this this group of, of players are about, um, gives you 
some more character things that, that you'll also find in the in the handouts, but um, just easy, makes it easier for the dungeon master to figure out what's going on. Um, you've also got rumors and allies and, and so forth, but it, it's it's pretty pretty thick book here. And that's the, that's just for the dungeon master. Then you've also got the adventure itself. Now, for those who haven't played this yet, I'm not going to flip through this because that might give some things away, and so I'm not going to do that. But uh, as you can see, it's also got a lot of artwork inside, and um, I've already started the campaign because uh, because you get when you order this, not only do you get this physical copy, but you also get a digital copy. For those of you who uh, are still unable to play at home uh, with with friends and family or whatever, uh, and are still uh, have to do the the online route thing the, uh, the digital copies uh, is perfect for that uh, so that it comes together as, as one one package um, but that's your adventure and then they go even further into doing things um, they like a slow leveling up uh, of, of you know, in other words uh, you you level up uh, slowly and to compensate for that they give you what they call gooey rewards and so it's just a, um, a little deck of cards. Um, at the end of each session, you roll a 20-sided dice. Um, and depending on the reason for what you're rolling, you either have to get a 19 or a 20 or maybe just a 20 or sometimes a 17 through a 20 uh, in order to get one of these cards. But you get things like temporary hit points, um, advantage on saving throws, advantage on attack rolls, Advantage on ability checks, extra attacks, you get an extra permanent hit point, um, and so forth and so on. Just um, just neat little neat little rewards for not being able to level up as quickly as what you would normally be used to doing. Uh, and the and the reason they they don't let you level up but at a certain pace is because uh, again they they put a lot of work into um, having this this world and, and this adventure is as, as immersive as possible and if you leveled up too fast uh, you get you'd be way overpowered for for the pace that the game goes and then you've got another little deck of cards here and these these are just um, for the magic items that the players might come across throughout the adventure and instead of uh, just having them write it down you can it, you can just pass it to them it, on the back of it it tells you uh, what the magic item does it gives you a little picture of, of what it looks like um, and then uh, if they if it's a one-shot thing they can hand it right back to you when they once they've used it so they don't have to worry about having to write a bunch of stuff on their character sheet um, and it's just it's just a neat thing to have uh, and then, last but not least, you've got the character portraits. These are your NPCs. These are everybody that they're going to come across, encounter, whether it be friend, foe, anything in between. It's great for the DM as well, as the player, because the DM can hold the card up like this. The player can see what the, what the character that they're encountering looks like. And while he's showing, the DM is showing that to the player, he's got all the information about that NPC on the back that he can be reading uh, just to familiarize himself with it because there's, this is a lot of information. But again, there's all sorts of just wonderful artwork of all these NPCs that you'll be running across. And so forth and so on. And all of that is the first, the first of so far six adventures in this series. This being the Darkest Dream, which is adventure number one. The one that I had already purchased off the Kickstarter is called the Phallus to the Phallist of Spirits. And then the third one is the Coldest Blood. 
and like I said, all of these have the same sort of stuff in here. You've got the you've got the uh, adventure, you've got the DM's guide, you've got all the handouts, everything in there. Um, another pack of the GUI cards, uh, GUI reward cards, the magic item cards. These sets run for sixty dollars a piece. Um, that, like I said, includes the physical copy and the digital copy, so you get both for sixty dollars. Um, the Weirded World Cyclopedia here. This was, I believe, fifty. It was either fifty or sixty. I can't. I can't remember right off the top of my head. Uh, they do have packages where you can get a, a, a discount if you purchase multiple items at one time. Um, I believe their current their current thing is either one and two plus plus the uh, encyclopedia or or another option I think is two and three in the in the encyclopedia. Um, but just go to gooeycube.com and uh, they've got all sorts of um, information there. Um, and it's they're not just a company. They, it's more like a community. Um, they've got a writer's guild, which uh, I've contributed somewhat to. Um, they've got, they've got a, a, a Discord channel. They've got a Facebook page. Um, they, they play game shows all the time where, you know, you win all kinds of prizes. You get, um, that they send you things for your contributions that you make um, in, in the, in the um, it's just it, it's just a, a, a great um, it's just a great company, um, very unique. I've never encountered any anything like it before, um, but you know, why don't you guys check it out? Um, but again, so this was what I was excited to get today, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my talking about it and my unboxing. And so until next time, when I'm actually back at my studio and reading books to you guys. Um, hope to see you soon and um, 